you're looking to build a budget studio and have a high quality sound in 2020 stay tuned because i'm going to show you how to get set up with the high quality home studio that you can create hits out of for just 300 to 500 dollars i am 850 izzy and this is independent industry academy what's up guys if you're new to the channel welcome if you like any of my content definitely subscribe and hit the notification bell to get all updates also follow us on instagram at mixed by 8i link is in the description below without prolonging this video let's do a full walkthrough of what you're gonna need to start the new decade making music now bear with me guys my brain moves faster than my mouth so some of my sentences try to overlap we'll get better with time though all right guys so we are here on my computer and first things first when we're building a studio we're gonna need a place to record all of our audio and that's gonna be uh through the power of a digital audio workstation um there's a couple out there but since we're only building with 300 dollars we uh kind of want to go uh for something that has a little bit of a low overhead uh i.e free um and with that being said we're gonna go to pro tools first okay so pro tools first is the basically uh free light version of the standard pro tools and pro tools ultimate uh i bought pro tools standard uh way before this came out um so i kind of uh punching the air right now but i wish this came out around the time that i was making music uh but nonetheless um you get all of the features of pro tools and pro tools ultimate the only difference is that you only get 16 audio tracks i believe 16 aux inputs which if you're just starting out or you're you know not as track intensive uh when it comes to recording 16 tracks is definitely more than enough um once you learn how pro tools works you basically can work in ba you basically can work in any studio uh being that pro tools is an industry standard uh doll when it comes to uh recording and post production all right you can like i said you can get this for free uh, i got this link in the description below so check it out Another free option that I have is the FL Studio Trial. Uh, again, it's free. It's unlimited features. The only drawback to FL Studio is that you can't reopen a saved project. So, in other words, you can record, you can use all of their plugins, you can, uh, you know, ba you basically have unlimited features. Uh, the only thing is when you save it, you cannot reopen your session until you buy the Fruity, Producer, or Signature Bundle. So those are two free options. Like I said, there are other options. You can't ask for any better DAWs, in my opinion. Moving on, we're going to get an audio interface now. And an audio interface is uh, basically like an external sound card. And that's what we're going to use to get the sound from our mic, which we're going to pick out a mic in a moment, uh, or if you play an instrument. It's going to basically uh, convert that analog sound into your DAW so that, uh, and that'll be the way that you record. Now, my absolute favorite uh, interfaces are the ones that come from the Focusrite brand. Um, in order to get some of this gear, I am on the wonderful site called Zounds. Uh, and Zounds is my number one place to go to to get music gear okay uh there's a lot of great things i have to say about sounds uh included in my sounds review uh so you can check that video out uh once you get done with this video but keep in mind that everything that you get from sounds if you use the link in the description below i get a small 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 percentage at no extra cost to you uh without further ado the interface that we want is the Scarlet Solo. Okay. And Focusrite has just released their new uh, 
third generation audio interfaces which feature air technology which has like a uh it adds a bit of top end to the uh to the signal coming in um but the interface that we need is going to be this focus right scarlet solo third generation usb audio interface okay so let's add that into the cart and let me make sure i don't have anything else in my cart okay so i don't all right so now we need a mic and everything that comes with the mic okay so first off we're going to start with our microphone the microphone that we want is the blue spark as we get some drums we're going to come down here and we see the blue spark sl cardioid large diaphragm condenser microphone all right look at that beautiful thing so you get all of this for 159 all right a little bit more expensive than when i first bought it but that's the world all right it doesn't come with this stand unfortunately but we will get a stand so we're going to add that to the cart so with these two things we've spent about 269 which we are approaching our 300 dollar budget but uh, the rest of the stuff isn't really that much expensive. The, uh, these two are probably going to be the most expensive uh, things that you buy. There are some alternatives in my quick list guide that you can download in the description below as well. Uh, so uh, if this is a little bit out of your budget, I do have a lot of other uh, alternatives. So I didn't want to leave you hanging. Okay, so next up. So next up, we're going to have to get something that covers uh, the mic that controls the P's, the B's, uh, and any other plosive sound. Um, and that's going to be uh, and that's going to be achieved by getting a pop filter. It's basically like that net that stops the uh, P's and B's from being exaggerated into the mic. I don't know why mics tend to exaggerate P's and B's, but it tends to do that the pop filter that i recommend is the gator ri pop filter so yeah as you can see it's 13 dollars, so not as expensive uh like i said as the last two items that we got but it gets the job done now why would i recommend the pop filter when the spark comes with the custom pop filter itself um, not only does this protect your mic from the plosive sounds, it also protects your mic from spit and, you know, breath, basically, that gets into the mic. And it over time, it just makes your mic stink. And, uh, you know, the humidity would, you know, uh, nine times out of ten, the humidity would uh, uh, destroy the mic or, or wear it out over time. So we're going to add this little pop filter to our um to our cart next up we do need a stand and we're gonna go for something uh simple uh just an on stage ms 7500 as you can see this microphone stand is 37 dollars which would put us over the 300 dollar limit but uh, my goal was to stay around $300, okay? So, uh, if you have a little bit more to spare, definitely invest. You can't go wrong. Plus, you'll get a great sound starting off, okay? So, we're going to add this to the cart. Last but not least, we're going to get some of my favorite headphones, which are the uh, KRK KNS 6400. So, I've recently just started using these headphones but i can tell you that i haven't turned back from these headphones since now a bit of a disclaimer i have their i have the bigger brother the kns 8400 which has a richer bass um but that's a bit that's like 50 dollars extra for that you just want something that you can listen to your music in and uh let that be it so the KRK KNS 6400s are, in my opinion, some of the greatest reference headphones. Okay, in my quick list guide, I do have some alternatives. Uh, 
So last but not least, we're gonna need some cables to hook all of this stuff up. When I'm looking for a cable, I'm looking for something that has uh, low to no noise whatsoever. It has to be great quality and it has to be durable. Um, and I've and I've found that through the site Monoprice. All right, as you can see, they sell a lot, a lots of things, uh, and it's all their brand. Uh, and I don't think people know about this site. Let me know in the comments if you've ever heard about this site or if this is your first time hearing this. I would love to know because I don't know how I stumbled on this website, but I have not turned back. OK, so I like to get uh, some cables from here. So the first thing I like to get are some mic cables. All right. And as you can see here, we got some very, very cheap mic cables if you're looking at this before the holidays uh they do have a sale um and if you're looking at this after the fact that this comes out after the holidays uh they're still cheap all right so what i would recommend for a mic cable uh is about six to ten feet you get the length of cable that suits your needs but this the one uh the Premier Series XLR male to XLR female mic cable uh, is going to be your best bet. And as you can see, you can see the price of a six foot is $6.65. And they're very high quality. Trust me on this, guys. Like, I have not turned back from this website. And I'm not even getting paid for this, okay? So look, a 10 foot is $8.10. They do have uh, different shipping options. You will get it. The standard shipping is about an extra two dollars you get it within the next two to five days i mean you can't beat that all right so uh this is where you would come for your mic cables you can also get the premier series instrument cables which are the quarter inch trs cables for plugging in your guitars or your pianos or whatever you want to plug into your interface you can also get uh adapters from here the adapters are very cheap i have a ton of these things uh another thing that i have a ton of are the uh the 3.5 millimeter cables and that's these bad boys right here you might know them as aux cords but they are 3.5 millimeter stereo uh plugs so back on the sound site it's not a requirement, uh, especially if you're just starting out. Um, we already have headphones, which basically you just need something to listen to your music to. But if you want to go the extra mile and you say, hey, I want some speakers, just know that you don't have to get high quality speakers starting off. Um, as a matter of fact, my studio at the time of this recording, I have the speakers that I'm about to show you now. They're very cheap, but they sound really good, and they're made by Personas, uh, which are the Eris E 3.5s. And these are a pair of speakers that you can get. They're basically called bookshelf monitors. Uh, and this is for if you want to, I guess, monitor the bass or whatever. Now, these are going to run you $99.95, but... I'm going to add this to the cart because I want to show you one last thing and one last reason that I love sounds. OK, so once we add this to the cart, you'll see that everything is eligible for free two day shipping. I think there's one thing out of the question. So let's see what is not eligible. Sonus, the KRK, the stand, the pop filter. OK, so you can't get the blue spark. Uh, but it definitely ships, I believe, FedEx ground. Uh, so you will get it in about three to five days. So that's one of the reasons. If you've been looking up here uh, where it says all access pass, I've been a customer of Zounds for about, I would say, two or three years. Uh, go probably going on three years at the time of this recording. But you can pay in installments. All right. Um, when you're new, if you're new to the site and you don't want them to run your credit, you definitely will go with the four payment option, which basically means that you pay a fourth of the total cost, which is going to be five hundred twenty one dollars and six cents. 
you pay a fourth of that which is the 131.26 plus a fourth of the three dollars and 95 cents uh processing fee and the reason why i said a fourth of 395 is because they've just implemented uh their new policy where they don't charge you the 395 up front they they charge you uh in installments in a fourth of installments at least that's what they told me uh so you will see a little bit extra but it won't be like 134 dollars all right and that's with no credit check now me being a long time customer of theirs they've given me an all access pass where i can get uh 12 payments so i can take a whole year to pay for this stuff with no credit check uh, but when you're first starting off, they will run your credit for um, 6 to 12 payments. Now, if you have good credit, you don't have to worry about that. But if you got bad credit like me or building credit, I should say, uh, you definitely want to go with the four payment options if you can't drop $500 within a day. Uh, or, you know, you just want some time to pay it off, I guess. Uh and that's another reason that I like Zounds. And they're very flexible. If you decide that if you, for some reason, can't pay, they're not quick to say, okay, give us our equipment back. They have wonderful customer service. They can, they can, you know, they're made for musicians by musicians. So they understand that life can hit you. So they, you know, they definitely understand, hey, uh, I can only, I can pay this on this date. They'll push the date back for you. I, I've had, no, I, 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 out of the many times that I've called Zounds with issues or just making payments or, you know, just saying, hey, uh, I definitely can say that I've not had a bad experience to date. Okay. Um, and that's why I've chose to affiliate myself with them. Over here, you get ground shipping for free. Like I said, it's two days except for the Spark, which will probably come uh, within the next three to five days of you getting it. Uh, but if you need your item sooner, you can pay an extra twenty six ninety nine. You will have to pay that. You will have to pay that up front uh, in the one day air if you just somehow need it tomorrow. Uh you will have to pay that up front. If you're ordering this on a Thursday and a Friday, um, I do I knew I do know that on Thursday they offer Saturday shipping if you get it on Thursday and you choose ground. Uh I believe on Friday you would have to get uh you would have to get one day air, which would get it to you by uh Saturday. Uh but for the most part it comes in a quick quick time all right so you don't have to worry about that if it's free you know why argue with free all right so like i said we went a little bit over budget maybe 221 dollars over budget <laughs> but we made up for that by taking time to pay it off so in actuality we only paid 130 dollars up front if you have a job you can definitely pay for this over time you get this right away, so there's no layaway. There's no, you don't have to wait for it. You don't have to pay it off to get it. You know, none of that crap. You can eliminate, you know, taking a long time to save up for this. And, of course, life happens and things like that. So that's why I go with Zounds because, you know, I don't want to say I go off impulse buying. But, uh, you know, if it's something that I really, really need or really, really want, I don't want to have to save up for a whole year and risk losing the motivation for it. Because I am I know if it takes me a whole year, I'm probably not going to be as motivated. So that's just me. If you can save up for this, this will be in your cart. All you do is just make an account, uh, save it on your wish list, save up for a year. As a matter of fact, I will show you guys my wish list. Um, my studio in the future is going to be about $10,000. Uh, look at all this stuff. That's all the stuff that I want. Okay. <laughs> so 
I do realize that I cannot come up with that and I definitely won't be able to pay that off month by month. So I definitely will uh, be saving up for this stuff. Uh, but as you can see, it does not take much these days to achieve a high quality sound. Just do a little bit more research. You can definitely compete with major studios that have millions of dollars to spend on this type of stuff. Uh, but I definitely hope you have taken all of my recommended products into, cons in cons into consideration. Like I said, I do have a quick list guide in the description below that you can check out. It has links to all of the items that we talked about, plus some alternatives if you want to save a little bit more money. And most of those items that I do recommend, I have come across those and used those at some point. So I'm not just throwing items at you i've definitely worked in some studios that had some of those items uh or i've used some of those items or bought some of those items with my own money as i said i do receive a small commission from whatever you buy in the link uh in the link below uh from zound so you be helping this channel out a lot okay a lot all right, so get in the comment box. Make sure you like and definitely subscribe if this has helped you. I am your virtual mentor, Izzy, and this has been another episode of Independent Industry Academy. Catch you guys on the flip side.